What's up you guys, Tommy Shaw here and today what I'll be talking about is the best investments during a crisis, okay? First of all, what is a crisis? It could be a stock market crash, it could be stagflation, it could be hyperinflation, it could be war, it could be deflation. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you in which situation that these class of assets are the best in, okay? So for 2020, we expect mostly stagflation, high unemployment and probably high inflation during the year, okay? Because there's going to be probably a supply shock, there's going to be a lot of demand, but not a lot of supply and a lot of money in circulation, so it might it might do or increase inflation. So first, the first asset clash is cash. It's excellent when it's deflation. When when everything is going down in value, cash is excellent because you're making money to keep your money. During an asset crash deflation, then it is the best. Okay? It's bad during hyperinflation. If you imagine hyperinflation, a lot of experts say it's 50% per month. So your money loses 50% each month. So your dollar is worth 50 cents the next month. It's worth 25 cents the next month. So hyperinflation destroys the value of cash. It's good during if you if everything goes down, the system's not working anymore. Well, we'll go back to handling cash and giving cash to barter or to buy whatever you want. Now, in bonds, where is bonds the best? It's best before a crash. Why? Because interest rates are very they're higher before a crash. So what happens to the bond the bond prices? They're low. You buy a bond and just before the crash, interest go interest rates go down very quickly and bond increases very quick, quickly in prices, especially long-term bonds. All right? It's bad during rising rate environment. Like after a crash, you don't buy bonds. But why? Because there's a good chance that in the long term, interest rates will start to rise and this will decrease the value of your bonds. Now, it's very bad in a hyperinflation environment. Bonds are not good when inflation gets out of control. Now, land. Land is excellent in all situations because you always need land to either build a, a, a companies, build uh, residential homes, or if you want to uh, grow your own food. Especially, I love hardwood containing land because when you have hardwood containing land, you can cut down the trees, sell it, or you can construct your own home and then you can transform that land into agri agriculture. You could grow on that land. If you have hard rocks underneath, you, you won't be able to grow anything. So land is good in all situations, even if it's going good during a crash, stagflation. In any situation, land is going to increase in value if there's massive in hyperinflation. Now gold. Gold is good when there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. You have, if you have hyperinflation, gold will be excellent because it will preserve its value. It won't go and acquire more wealth than it gives you, but it'll preserve the, the wealth that you have. It's good in inflation, all right? But the only problem with gold is that it doesn't give you anything in return. You can't eat gold, you can't, do anything but jewelry with gold or semiconductors you can't really do anything and the cost to store it it's very expensive because you have to put insurance if you have a million dollars of gold and it's not working for you you don't have any returns on that you can't live off those returns and there's a, a price you have to pay to store it now the seller usually that's the person that makes money out of gold okay but because right now there's a big premium for people who are selling gold. Why do you think so many people are trying to sell gold right now on YouTube and stuff like that? It's because they're making a huge premium. It's just like the gold rush in the 19 somethings. People were going out to, to get the gold, but who was making the money? It was people who were selling shovels and stuff like that, selling the dream. So for me, gold is a little bit 
overvalued. Even if it goes to $50,000, I don't care because I can't do anything with gold. I could exchange it. You're not going to barter with gold. You're going to barter with food because when we're in a crisis and everything is unstable, people want their basic necessities like food. Nobody's going to be talking about, hey, can we exchange gold? Nobody's going to give a crap about gold. All right, that's my opinion. Maybe I'm totally wrong. And even if it goes to $50,000, I don't care. I don't want it. It's not something that I invest in. I don't believe in that and it makes no sense to me. All right, real estate is good in all situations because it's an asset. Even if there's hyperinflation, okay, if you have a 30 fixed loan, yeah, hyperinflation won't affect you. But one thing with real estate, you have to remember the rents, the rates of rates well, are not going to increase as fast as the inflation that is in the environment. But if you keep a, a good amount of money to last for one year, two years, then real estate becomes a great investment in a crash just before interest rates starts to fall. It's just like a bond. It goes up in value. Now let's look at stocks that have potential. Okay, If we look at stocks that have potential in 2020, Costco has a lot of potential, Dollarama has a lot of potential, Walmart, McDonald's, because these are considered essentials and they're going to keep making these sales and they're able to supply the whole world. So the best investments during a crisis, we have to first of all determine what is a crisis. You have to decide, okay, what is a crisis in my own mind? Is it a crash? Is it stagflation, hyperinflation, war, deflation? You have to first know in which environment you are in. Now, let's look at cash. Cash is good during a crash, bad during hyperinflation. Bonds are good just before a crash, but they're bad when interest rates start to rise. Land, they're excellent in all situations because you're always gonna be need land. Unless it's somewhere up north, where you ha you can only go there by helicopter okay that makes no sense okay and gold is good in the hyperinflation environment it depends it's what on what is your strategy gold can be a good investment but it's not something that i'm looking into because i need that cash flow and it doesn't give me cash flow unless i could lend it out and get a premium and banks were willing to pay me for that gold investment then i would really consider it as something as a good investment also remember there's a lot of premiums it costs a lot of money to store it even if you keep it at home it's not really doing anything seller usually makes it a money off you selling because there's a huge premium right now real estate it can be sometimes bad and good in a higher hyper inflation environment fix you have to remember if there's going to be hyper inflation it's better to get a fixed debt 30 year or five years and try to keep it as long as possible. Now, it, it's very good just before a crash. Stocks that have a lot of potential for this year, I believe Costco, Dollarama, Walmart, and McDonald's, just for if this situation persists, these, uh, these companies can have potential to increase in value. All right, that's it for today. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.